What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video here on Archidex. I'm Isaac Posada, lead instructor at SWA. Here I'm with uh, my student, Luis Fumarfi. Hi, how are you doing Isaac? Uh, today we'll be uh, doing a 6 inch Schedule 80 uh, 6G uh, pipe. And we're basically doing a, a test which will run out in the field, on the, in the oil field sometimes. Uh, they require you to do a, a 6010 route and hot downhill. And then on half of the pipe, it'll be 7018 uh, filling cap. And then on the other side, it'll be 8010 with the pipe liner rod filling cap also uh, downhill on one side as well. Um, sometimes you'll run into this uh, test just because a lot of companies require you to weld both downhill and uphill uh, just because you'll run into uh, different situations down the field. All right, guys, so today's fit up is going to be a 332 landing with a 332 gap. You always want to check for your high and low, move the pipe around if you have to, line up the seams. It's very important to line up the seams. Right there, it's pretty straight. So, all right, guys, so we're going to get right into it. All right guys, today we'll be using uh, my SE200 and we'll be running the route on third gear and in between uh, 25 to 35 is uh, what I like to run my route at. Um, maybe you guys like to run it a little colder, a little hotter, but everybody wells differently. Alright guys, so Luis is going to tack on 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock since it's a 6 inch pipe it doesn't need 3 tacks. It shouldn't pull too much so we're going to tack at 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Alright guys, so we got it tacked up, but unfortunately it opened up on this side, so we had to put three tacks in. That way we'll just weld it over here so this side will open up. So Luis is going to weld this side first, and I'll go ahead and hit this side after. Right now we're about to do the, the root pass. I'm gonna start from the top, go to the bottom downhill, and I'm gonna do this side first all the way around. That way this side will open up a little bit more and the pipe will score out by itself. All right guys, I just started welding the root and since uh, it's a 332 gap, I'm just doing back and forth motions, uh, watching the keyhole, making sure it's tying into both walls. Then I'm on the bottom of the pipe right now, I'm just shoving the rod in right now just because the gap closed up a little bit, so I'm just soaking in that rod.
right guys, so right here I'm gonna start before my keyhole. I'm gonna get that rod hot. I'm gonna tie into it right here. I'm just dragging the rod. Sometimes the, the bead disconnects, so you gotta come push it back in. But make sure that rod is always inside. Feather down your, your tie-ins. And then you just keep going. Always start an inch before your tie-in, so you get a good tie-in through the inside. All right, guys, so we put a decent bead in here. We're gonna grind down our root. We're gonna grind down and get all that trash on. Then we're gonna be running our hot pass with the 532, 6010, 5P plus. And then on one side, 718, and on the other side, 8010 filling cap. And right now I'm gonna start with the 8010 high blunder rod. I'm gonna fill it and I'm gonna go downhill and then on after I'm done, Isaac's gonna go ahead and do the 7018 on this side and then we'll just alternate as we go in a circular motion. filling in with the 8010 pipeliner rod and I'm just making sure the puddle stays mostly on the top side just because you're at a 45 degree angle and I'm just doing circular motions back and forth making sure I grab uh, or tie into both walls and when you tie in make sure you tie in uh, go down an inch and then go up and tie in pretty good that way it's nice and hot and I just go down the whole way Alright guys, so now I'm gonna get up with 7 to 18. The video is sped up a little bit, but I usually pause two seconds on top and one on the bottom so it doesn't drag down. Whenever you stop, you wanna start about an inch, inch and a half on top of where you start to drag it down so you can burn all the porosity out. You wanna hit wall to wall, making sure you grab both walls so you don't leave any. Back to fusion. Alright guys, this is the second fill with the 8010 and you want to make sure to hit both balls just like on the on your first fill but on this one you want to keep it a sixteenth under your bevel that way when you cap it your cap won't uh, be too humped up or be less than an eight. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So after my first fill, I had did a stringer on the bottom side. Now I'm doing the top side. Right here, you're gonna have a, a valley, so you wanna make sure you fill that valley, but you don't wanna eat the wall too much. You wanna touch the wall, but not go outside of the wall. Make sure you fill up that valley. So it stays flush, so it's ready to cap. Right here, you can go side to side, but not too wide, so you just leave your material right there. So we got it filled up, it's flush. You wanna check it out? This side is 7018. On Lisa's side, it's 8010. Check it out, 8010. We're gonna let it cool down so we can cap it right now in about 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Alright guys, right now I started off doing the cap with 8010 as well. And you want to make sure to pause on the top on every ripple that you do. That way it won't drag all the way to the bottom. And do that all the way down, especially on the sides where you have more of an angle. You want to stick to that top side more. I'd recommend to sometimes do a two beat cap especially on a pipe like this, but since the bevel was a little less than a 3 8 of an inch, I just ran one cap, one, one beat cap. Alright guys, so you can see that I'm doing a 2 bead cap with the 7018. I'm grabbing the bottom wall and like 3 quarters of the way up on the bevel. So you could only do a 2 bead cap making sure you burn the bevel. You want to leave enough space so you could throw your second bead on it. Right there, I'm throwing the second bead. I'm touching the top bevel and going halfway on the bottom bead. You want to have a steady pace so it's an even bead and make sure you have your rod close. Always clean it off after. Take out any slag. All right, well, there you have it, guys. So, one side. 7018 filling cap, one side uh, 8010 filling cap, both sides 6010 bead and hot pass. So we'll check it out right now. The 7018 and the 8010 side. Alright, guys, so like and subscribe and find us on Facebook or on Instagram or give us a call. Um, stay tuned for further videos, guys. <laughs>